Welcome to Lot 5 Grant Preserve, 27.2 acres, and we're at 62 meters elevation at the start of the lot. Um, climbed from 20 meters at the start of the lane, so lots of uh, elevation. And you can see other ridges in the background. And we'll take you for a little tour. So this is the first lot entrance to Blaze Trail property line for lot five. And as I mentioned, 62 meters elevation. A lot of rain this week, so we get some standing water. It'd be interesting to see what's inside the property. We may find a little puddle here and there. And we're off. So we're just about 100 meters or so off the main roadway. And as with most of the lots, this was harvested back in the year 2000. So we're looking at regrowth of about 20, 22 years of age. Interesting up here, it's uh, not growing in too thick, but you know, if you can see in the distance, uh, it doesn't take too long before we get into mature, more dense growth. But a pretty area with some hardwood regrowing, pine, spruce, tamarack, birch, pretty area. So you can see we haven't reached the first corner yet and we're now into mature growth. So this really has not been harvested hard. Lots of spruce, some hemlock in there, mature hemlock, probably 100 plus year old hemlock. And uh, I can see some mature hardwood in the distance. We only have one assistant today. Marley's assisting us today and we left her brother Hugo at home. So we're now at the back right corner or back first corner of lot five. Doesn't look like any harvesting in here over the years at all. Really nice mix of mature hardwood and softwood. Pretty. Lots of evidence that the deer like these blaze property lines, just tracks and droppings everywhere but really mature trees. You can get a feel for the size and relationship to Marley. I mean, that's gotta be 150 year old hardwood. So we're making our way along the back property line. So the farthest distance from the road. And you can see this is all never cut before hardwood and softwood. Really pretty and all these little ridges in here. Lots of spacing, easy to walk. Lots of wildlife in here. Here's evidence of why we want to leave dead trees standing. Lots of use by the pileated woodpeckers and lots of home for squirrels and chipmunks and owls. Very cool area. Yeah, this is a bit of a surprise. I wouldn't call it a brook. I'd just call it a runoff between two ridges. So I suspect in the spring There'd be some nice water moving through here with the 
snow runoff if we ever get snow again. Really beautiful here at the back of the property. Everything's mature. We get ridges up and down. Lots of sunlight coming through, lots of regrowth. Tons of firewood, firewood forever. Golden birch, maple, hemlock spruce, white birch. So we're standing in the back corner of lot five, about to head straight out to the road. You can hear the brook in the distance, but the brook is just off the property line. And this is the brook that tumbles down over lot six. Pretty brook. So on lot five, you're gonna hear it, but unfortunately it's about 20 feet off of the uh, property line. Perhaps a friendly neighbor will let you take advantage of the, the brook nearby. And we're off. Let's go, Marley. Let's go. Let's go. It's a bit of a natural clearing here on the back corner of Lot 5 looks like they've taken some firewood out of here recently before my purchase. So it's a nice little valley of hardwood with the ridge of hardwood up above it.